Team's already not looking good here. Oh my gosh, this little guy. What the heck? Wow. Hey guys, it's Wiggler back in Auburn University on Minecraft to show you a new video of Jordan Hare Stadium. I've made a previous video that was quite fair and I have made a lot of improvements to this one and so let's make this the new and improved Jordan Hare Stadium on Minecraft. Uh, as you can already see in the back behind me I've added functionality to the scoreboard and the scoreboard can be changed from the press box and also there's a clock over on this one that can also be set and started from the press box which is pretty cool. Uh, all of the insides have been completed and that's all stuff that I will show you here in a little bit. Alright guys for the first part of our tour we're going to look at the locker room of Jordan Hare. At the end of Tiger Walk which is the very start of every Auburn game day the players come in and walk right through this gate to the locker room. And in the circle we see Aubie to welcome all the players coming in. And through this door here, we've got the entire athletic complex for Jordan Hare Stadium. Plug in here, we've got a lobby that can take us to several different places. Uh, we'll go over here to look at uh, the VIP lounge of sorts. Uh, here they've got a lot of places to eat. Um, a lot of free food to eat and a lot of hands to shake. And here we've got a uh, wall of fame pretty much of football players of all the history. Um, we've got Cam Newton, Nick Fairley, Carlos Rogers, Bo Jackson, and Pat Sullivan. Anybody that has watched Auburn for any time at all should know these players. They are uh, integral and a part of Auburn football. And through here we've got a theater so that football players can watch film for the next game. Come through these doors here. And we've got the theater. It looks like Aubie is pretty excited to watch some film. So we'll pop right up here and take a seat and watch our huge screen so that we can watch. And so we're going to go through here and for the part we've been waiting for is the locker room. So if we come straight through here, we're inside the locker room of Auburn. A lot of space and a lot of lock uh, lockers so that every football player has a space to put their gear. And a huge circle here so that um, they can have a uh, meeting. If you turn right here, we've also got their bathroom and all of the showers work. And uh, you turn it off. We've got sinks here. <laughs> and it looks like Aubrey needs a bath. So, game is about to begin. So let's turn off the lights to set the mood. And go out. Alright, it's game time in Jordan Hare, and it's time to look around at some more places. Alright, for the next part of our tour, uh, let's go up to the press box and see what we've got up there. Um, check out the controls of this mothership here. Uh, but we'll fly through here for a, a quick lesson. If you can see the brick in here, it stretches all the way through. Uh, when they put in the nosebleed section, uh, they actually just put this on top of the existing stadium. And uh, so the original stadium, which was uh, Auburn Stadium and then Cliff Hare Stadium and then finally Jordan Hare Stadium, had these uh, brick columns. And when they put in the high rises, um, they just put it on top of this. And so this is the columns that you can see uh, under the bleachers here, which is it's pretty cool. So 
So let's just pop on up to um, the press box level here and head on through these doors and see what we've got here. We've got a nice view of everything that goes on in the stadium from this place and we can manage it quite well from these buttons. So if you look at the clock over here, I've changed the smaller scoreboard uh, to a clock and it's been conveniently set on one second for us, so I wonder why. <laughs> but um, I hear that Auburn can do a lot with just one second. So if we start the clock here, it'll go straight to zero for us. There it goes. Everything uh, goes a little slower from here because it takes a long time for the redstone signal to go all the way to the scoreboard. So we'll flip this back off and if we want to add some more time to it, we'll come over here and add it and I'll go up to the maximum number of nine. There it goes, just as soon as it updates. Then from 9 we can start the clock. And it should start counting down. And so um, it counts every second. And as we get closer, uh, we can see that more clearly. Um, but being so far away, it's hard for the numbers to render in time. Um, so we'll go over there and look at it later. Um, for this scoreboard, I've got an actual scoreboard so we can put scores in there. So, the home team, of course, is Auburn, so we give them a point, and the left side should light up to a 1. Any minute now, there we go. And then the away point is anybody that Auburn is playing, that should illuminate the right side. So there we go. So we can add a couple more points to Auburn. It should go to a 3 now. There we go. So just like that, it's a lot easier to configure this than it is the clock. Anyway. So that's that. Here we've got a map stadium here. You can see that we're standing right here. and. Um, Look how it's how massive it is. But um anyway, guys I've gotta warn you that um now that every time I walk through this stadium I uh I start weird things start happening and um uh, I don't know, I just I, I I think I just go into another place and start dreaming about other things. Maybe it's a, a flashback or something. Fourth and 18 for the Tigers. Here's your ball game. Nick Marshall stands in, steps up. He's going to throw down the field. Just a home run ball, and uh, it is tipped up. And Lewis going to the Hudson. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is going to score. Lewis is going to score. Touchdown, Auburn. Touchdown, Auburn. A miracle in Jordan Hare. A miracle in Jordan Hare. 73 yards, and the Tigers with 25 seconds to go. They 43 to 38. Wow, well, that was weird. Let's, uh, let's go over here and um, check out this even closer. So we've got always cameramen and people manning this scoreboard here. Got a great view of the stadium from here. And one of their jobs is to set off the fireworks. we got nice orange and blue colors here. Great celebratory action for any Auburn win, and uh, gosh, I'm feeling funny again. And this this view is just so beautiful. I, I guess if this thing comes up short, he can field it and run it out. All right, here we go. 56 yarder. It's got no, does not have the leg. And Chris Davis takes it to the back of the end zone. He'll run it out to the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the football game. Auburn's going to win.
wins a football game. He ran the misfield goal back. He ran it back 109 yards. They're not going to keep him off the field tonight. Holy cow. Oh, my God. Auburn wins. Auburn has won the Iron Bowl. Auburn has won the Iron Bowl in the most unbelievable fashion you will ever see. I cannot believe it. You know, I, I could get used to these little flashbacks here. <laughs> I, I'm liking this a lot. Anyway, let's uh let's pop over to this uh, clock here, um, so I can preview that it's actually working correctly. Um, there we go. We can see that the seconds is doing something other than zero. Um, anyways, I guess it's turning morning. Which you don't see often in Jordan here, but <laughs> um, this is the visitor side here with uh, sky boxes, and we just got up, got back from the press box area, which is over there. So as we get closer, we can see that it's counting off every second quite accurately. Every real close we can hear the pistons working in there. Um, they're rotating little pieces of wood uh, that keep the memory for each of the numbers. Um, quite a complicated system so that's why the scoreboard looks as big as it is but I compensated. I put put some new uh, supports down there for it. Um, anyways, so we get down here we can look at the visitor side where the, uh, they play or where they stand and so we look over this direction I, I think we're gonna, gonna do it again. Let's, let's look at what happened this time. Did you hear that crowd? Did you hear that crowd? I was a part of that crowd. I'm sure a lot of you were too. But I was sitting, I was sitting right over here, going nuts. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, I promise we won't have any more of those in a little while. But just had to get that out. I mean, we're in sort of a uh, a really important place right now. This this place right here is is the home to a lot of memories like that. Um, and I, I got. I got to see it from this view right over here. My usual spot, and I saw it right over here, and it was just as beautiful right here as it was in those other two views. So, anyway, um, okay. So what's next? Let's let's look at these boxes. I think we briefly looked at those earlier, but let's look at them in a little bit more detail this time. We'll even look at uh, my version of the presidential box. Um, so let's cheat and go up these stairs. And uh, here we are. The level. Like I said, this is the bottom level. We need to go up to the top. And let's try, I believe it's the very center one. It is. So look at this massive thing. So if you saw earlier, um, we can come up and look at the view here. We've got a huge view. 
but all the boxes are pretty much the same. Um, they're all privately owned, um, but all the layout is, uh, is big. and um, they've got a, a little bathroom that I've used for storage. Um, of course, got lots of food. Look at that, we're being fancy, we cooked salmon. Lots of really good food, and good seats also. So this is a, a, a uh, normal one um, that pretty much everybody has. Um, but if we go next door, this is the presidential suite. Um, which is a really nice one. They've got an even, um, just I, I've I've sort of made it my own, um, but they've they've got obviously a lot more seating, and uh, I can only imagine they've got um, more cooking ability. But here we've got a really good view of the entire stadium here. So um, for those who like to be inside, which I actually prefer to be outside and with everybody right over there but uh, for those who like to be inside this is a a good place for them so um well let's uh, see what we've got next well we're almost done with this video and uh, I know it's been a while since my last one um, and that's kinda how these Auburn videos are gonna work uh, they're gonna be few and far between uh, just because of the amount of work that happens between each one um, but I may add some other miscellaneous videos here and there that's what I've been thinking um, but now I'm going to take a minute to talk about what's going to happen next time so here we can see a little bit more completed if we look off um, this side of the stadium here we can look at the completed part here which uh, Haley Center which uh, we've known has been here for a while and the student center here, which I need to add. I need to add a lot to the student center. But if we see all of this green space here, this sea of green, uh, this is all going to change. All this is included into the next update. I've got lower quad here. Uh, this is considered the campus green, uh, but the campus green looks nothing like this. It's it's <laughs> it's not a big square patch of grass. It's it's uh it's got trees and paths and looks looks pretty um but if we go further then we've got uh science buildings and parker and allison and uh over here is plainsman park the baseball stadium uh i'm not sure if i'm going to include that into the next one or not um but actually that would probably work since it's sort of in this line and it's also a pretty big build so um Anyway, but as you can see, there's a lot of landscaping that goes into each uh, each part. So, anyway, give a man respect in that part. It's, landscaping is my least favorite thing. Uh, and looking around here, you can probably tell that. Um, I, I, I like building these things. I hate doing this thing. But this thing makes this thing look a whole lot better, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, I digress. Alright everyone, I give you Jordan Hare Stadium. I want to hear a round of applause from everybody. Okay, so I can't hear you, so... <laughs> uh, just leave a like, if you liked it, of course. And uh, come back and see me. I'll As the sun starts going down on the Jordan Hare Stadium, i got to show you one last thing. I uh, changed my skin, the way I look at Minecraft. Uh, because uh, I thought the older one just needed uh, rearranging. Um, but don't scream. I promise uh, it'll be okay. And don't laugh at me. <laughs> but uh, this is me now. This is the new Wiggler. Um, I think it looks a little better. So uh, there you go. That's that's it. That's, that's all I needed to show you. So here we are. Jordan Air Stadium. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Wiggler. Everybody have a good War Eagle Day. A good Minecraft Day. And uh, I'll see you in my next video.